Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time I'm delighted to be able to share with you the launch issue of the Men's Adventure Quarterly magazine. Now this magazine's put together by uh, Robert Dice and Bill Cunningham and it's got a guest editorial from Paul Bishop and it's Western themed. So this has taken uh, classic Western stories and some non-fiction articles as well from those classic men's adventure magazines from the 50s and 60s and taken the very cream of the crop and put them into this really really great magazine it's beautifully designed fantastically illustrated and the stories are outstanding and that is what we're going to be having a look at today so sit back relax and let's get to it right then so first of all let us just admire the design of this max as you can see it's quite thick it's perfect bound it's a really, really, I, I have to say straight off the bat, just flicking through the design of it. Just fantastic. Beautifully, beautifully designed book, this. And I do almost call this a book rather than a magazine, although it's Men's Adventure Quarterly, so it's a Men's Adventure magazine. It feels almost like a coffee table book. Uh, I know it's a bit weird, but I think just because of the sheer size of it more than anything. Um, so but let's have a little look through. But, you know, first off, brilliant, brilliant design. So here it is, the very first issue. And um, editor and publisher, Bob Dice. So you might know Bob from his other men's adventure books, which he does with Robert Wyatt. And also there is the accompanying Facebook group, which is fantastic. And uh, I do recommend you checking the men's adventure magazines and books Facebook group. It's fantastic, full of, full of great stuff. Um, so yeah co-editor and also for the graphic design of it bill cunningham so that's where that this has come from it's just just great um bill runs a pulp 2.0 and uh, it really lends itself very well to this sort of content and then we've got the editorial here there's a guest editorial today uh in this issue by paul bishop but this is bob's general introduction to the series and this is really nice in that um he uh, bob sort of relays the sort of story behind the men's adventure magazines if you don't really know it how he got into collecting them himself Tra i think he said he's tracked down that very first issue of man's life over 20 years ago now and uh had that great line that weasels ripped ripped my flesh <laughs> so that's sort of bob's initial introduction and then here's bills because they're co-editors just this beautiful beautiful artwork on these uh these magazines then we've got the guest editorial by uh, Paul Bishop. Now, Paul um, is co-host with Richard Prosh of the Six Gun Justice podcast, which is fantastic. And, um, you know, in his editorial, Paul goes over the rise, you know, I could, I could say from last year, it is the rise of the Western. It's come back as a, as a major force in genre fiction. And uh, I think Paul has definitely helped it on the way. This magazine will certainly help. Also over in the UK, um, Justin Marriott, did this one there it's a hot hot lead it's called it's like a um a fanzine devoted to western paperbacks and uh that particular one there is great it's got um over 150 reviews of classic western novels from all eras right back to the 1920s and 30s up to the present day very much recommended the hot lead special and uh yeah so that's that's basically paul's introduction there he lists a few series that he he liked some more of this beautiful artwork here and then we've got the first short story now this one is um uh, was reprinted from mail magazine so in the editor's notes here um it gives a little hi history of mail magazine which is prefaced then by the actual story in this case it's one called the old shell game and it tells you it was uh, a bit of history so from mail magazine february 1953 cover painting by al schmidt and the story illustration by saul levine and then this is the actual uh short story so this is taken straight from the men's adventure magazine in question and they vary in length it's not a particularly long one that one and then you're into this issue of um uh, mail magazine from 1955 now once again i wasn't really aware 
that the man uh, the Mount or Men's Adventure magazines actually had any non-fiction. I thought it was all just stories. So this one actually is a non-fiction article uh, looking at Madames of the Old West. So certainly in keeping with the theme of this particular issue, which is the Western. So this is absolutely fascinating. Really, really, really good, this one. And it's, once again, it's just been taken direct from the original magazines. Now, those original mags are an absolute fortune nowadays to start collecting, and they're impossible to find in the UK. So, you know, for that reason alone, um, having them in this convenient point, uh, all in this one mag is, is great. So the next one then is um, Stag. Now, this was published in November 1956, and there is a, Robert, uh, a cover painting by Robert Stanley. And this is a story by Dean Ball uh, Ballinger. Um, in the editor's notes there, it does mention this, uh, the Gannon series of books, which are apparently super violent. <laughs> They're often outlandish and pretty violent, apparently. And there we are, the Renegade Marshal. So that's that one. A few pages long again. This is an interesting thing. So it's called I Buy That For A Dollar. I'd buy that for a dollar. And this is like classic adverts, which, you know, I would you know sometimes see in 60s. Uh, Marvel DC comics of the era where they'd have you know get your x-ray specs and things like that these are the ones that have a selection of ones that have come from classic men's adventure magazines and they suggest writing in with other other ones that you might fancy I think that's a really good sort of feature now the next one then is not a story again but this one looks at um, the actor who was in Gunsmoke James Arness and uh he was a big, big star in his day. Not not that well known now, I wouldn't have thought, but um, back in his day, he absolutely was. The article is called The Gunman Who Killed the Critics. Good stuff. Little advert there for uh, the Mike Shane comic collection. Also from Pulp 2.0. You can see they're also beautifully designed. Now, the next feature is is the men's adventure quarterly gal gallery so it's the gallery and it's um where they take um they look at a particular model who might have been used within the pages of men's adventure magazines in a bit more detail so this is the model julie Re reading and it reprints a photo spread that she did in the january 1960 issue of man's life magazine and there we are Next, we've got a, uh, a story by Bill Hausman. From, originally from Untamed magazine. This was April 1959 again. There we are, and it shows a little bit more behind the history of Untamed magazine. There is uh, one of Robin Wyatt's books there, One Man Army. That was the cover art of um, Gil Cohen. Great, great book that. He did a lot of the... Uh, Mac Bolan series, Men's Adventure Mags. So here's that one, the story by Bill Hausman. There we are. Next we've got um, a story from All Man magazine. This was uh, um, reprinted, well, first published in All Man in September 59, then reprinted in um, Battle Cry magazine in May 1965 uh, under a different name of Lou Marvin. But this is by Lou Cameron, in actual fact. Brilliant stuff. That's the story. Say no to Laura Lee. Next, we've got one by Thomas Halloran, Terror of the All Girl Posse from Man's Life magazine. It's got that brilliant cover there by Wilbur Halsey. Brilliant, isn't it? Guy there about to be hanged, being dragged to the dragged to the noose. <laughs> brilliant stuff. Similar sort of version of it inside there. All the women just scantily clad, but nothing too too um, obscene or graphic. It's just just on the verge, <laughs> which I guess was in keeping at the time. Next is A-OK -OK for Men, 
another story. This is uh, the bloodiest mass murderer of the Old West. There we are. Little, uh, there's the three issues of Hot Lead. Fantastic stuff. I do believe Justin's planning another Hot Lead All Review special for 2021, which would be fantastic. Look forward to that one for sure. Now we've got the saga of Buckskin Frank Leslie. Slick shooting dude from Tombstone by Jack Pearl. <laughs> and this was from Man's World magazine. Which is, um, you know, it's got a good mixture of non-fiction in this particular one. Also carry the the monster bird. Um, Bob did actually did cover these uh, those sorts of books in the Cryptozoology Anthology, which is published by uh, uh, by in, as part of the Men's Adventure Library. And there we are. And this is the story by Jack Pearl with art by Ray De Soto. Then we've got to look at Donald Honig, shootout at Mad Sadie's place. And uh, this was the one where they managed to get hold of Donald Honig, who is still alive. He's 89 at the moment. And the authors uh, contacted him and got a little bit of backstory about his career. Um, he did all sorts of things during his career and wrote a lot for the Alfred Hitchcock Mystery Magazine and the Alfred Hitchcock Presents TV show. So that's really cool. Not many of these guys still around now, so it's good to get that. So there is the uh, the original story. And interspersed throughout the mag, you will see the odd sort of cartoon strip as well. Then this story from Stag magazine, dated in January 1957. Beautiful cover art by Mort Kunstler. There's Mort with uh, Bob there. Fantastic, fantastic artist. Really, really amazing. Great stuff. Another one there, the West's Wildest Hellraiser. <laughs> Beautiful artwork. Now this is great, so I think this is a really, really good feature of the magazine. And it's got classic men's adventure covers, so it's like an art gallery. So it gives you a little bit of the background of the artwork. And then some of the most classic covers that were reprinted within. And they are really good. I mean, it's a, these are, this is work of high quality, which, uh, you know, they just wouldn't put that sort of effort in these days. So some of the best bits of the artwork has featured. Brilliant, eh? Look at that. <laughs> then they got letters to adventure. So they will have a letters page so we can, uh, you are encouraged to write in. Um, Bob did put a little post up on, um, on his uh, Facebook group and I didn't actually expect it to be picked up because all I put you know after the the cover was awesome stuff Jules <laughs> um, so uh, I do appreciate Bobby he says he's a big fan of my videos and uh, I take that as a high compliment Jules always look forward to your episodes about vintage paperbacks and I appreciate your support for the books I co-edit with Wyatt Dwall and Bill Cunningham well thank you very much for that Bob I wasn't actually expecting that in there so I had a little bit of a surprise when I saw that so thank you very much but I think you have done a really great job with this one now another thing is we need to get the word out about the men's adventure magazine so um, if you can sort of share this video or if you're buying a copy flash up on social media on your Twitter feed Instagram that you bought one that would definitely help get the word out about this great mag now, as you know, this was the Western themed issue. Next issue, Espionage, the world of spies. Um, I am really looking forward to this because as much as I love the Western genre, and it's something I've certainly been getting into in the recent years, this is, is sort of right up my alley. Um, so very, very much looking forward to this uh, second issue when it gets published in a few months time. 
And there we go. Great stuff. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed looking through this launch issue. If it has whetted your appetite, don't forget you can get copies from your local Amazon, amazon.com or amazon.co.uk, and I'll put the links to those down below. Um, do support this valiant effort. It is fantastic. And well, as you've seen, it's just superb. Don't forget if this has whetted your appetite for more men's adventure action, um, Rob and his other editor friend, Wyatt Doyle, do produce a whole range of books, which I've got here. I think there's about 14 in the men's adventure library as well as that fantastic Facebook group devoted to men's adventure magazines as well. So keep up with all the latest developments on there. If you enjoyed today's video, do please give it a thumbs up. Do please consider subscribing for regular vintage action. And I shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.